Oh, and welcome back to another video. Um, so, uh, I've uh, finished playing through Sword and Shield earlier, and I just need to complete the Galar decks. So, my thoughts on Sword and Shield quickly. Well, I basically finished Sword, but they're both basically the same game, so... Um, whatever can... Uh, you know, pretty much anything like I say here can be applied to Shield as well. Um... Quite honestly, Sword and Shield, the, for the most part, it's it's a Pokemon game. You get, you pretty much gain what you expect: new Pokemon, new gyms, new challenges. Uh, but what I like about this game is that it's more of a mix between the classical gyms and the, the trials from Alola. Um, I know the gyms have had like puzzles in the past, but these are close. The puzzles in these gyms are closer to the um, trials uh, in Alola than the normal gym puzzles. Because not in a normal gym puzzle, you just run around the gym and just like flip something or press something, and you know you'll eventually get to the end. Where these, there was a quiz one which. Um, uh, is which a bit like Blaine's gym, uh, but it's more like, but um, you get the answers wrong, you get debuff, you get it right, you get buffed. And, oh, like during the um, battle with the gym leader, she asked some BS questions like, um, "What's my favorite color?" And so, oh, she mentioned earlier that, earlier that. Um, you, you know, uh, that I didn't have enough pink, so I guessed pink. It was either pink or purple, and I did think, oh, it could be purple because is that uh, she's got that purple fur on her, but she is she does have pink on her as well. And who is sending me so many messages? Anyway, Jesus. Um. So yeah. Um. But no, apparently pink is what she likes to see in other people. So I was like, okay, that's a bit bullshit. And then, but not as bullshit as this one. She asked me, how old am I? And I was like, 88 or 16 or something like that. And then of course you're going to go for the older one because she's an old lady. She's so go, excuse me, she's just like, oh, you're right, but you could have been kind of debuffed. And he's just like, I'm going to kill you. Yeah, so, I, that's the only time in the entire game where I can say that I got legitimately angry at the game. Like, I, Jesus Christ. Anyway, um, like, I can tolerate all of, like, the RNG evasion and critical hits. Like, I can tolerate all that, but when you actively, um, bait and switch me with that kind of, like, you have to answer correctly, otherwise you're going to get debuffed. Here's a question. Oh, you weren't very nice about answering that question, question correctly. You still lose. That legitimately bothered me. But, I know, but it's not going to bother everybody. It's just something that, bothered, something that just bothered me. Um, the only time where I can say that this was not a typical Pokemon game is with what you could arguably call this game's gimmick in um, Max Raid Battles. They are so much fun. They are legitimately my second favourite uh, gimmick in any Pokemon game. Very close to favourite. And being that my favourite gimmick in any Pokemon game was um, Hargold and SoulSilver's um, Pokemon Following You, which then we turned in the Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee. Um, yeah, it, it, it's uh, it's a really good game. It's just so much fun. Like when I first got into the wild area, I was like, yeah, screw the screw progressing in the game. I'm just gonna um, catch a few Pokemon. And oh my god, I got, you can just catch so Pokemon that are so much more powerful than your team. Like seriously, it is legitimately just the best way to get to ahead of the game. Literally. Um. So yeah, uh, what else? 
um, did have a, it did actually have a couple of good plot twists. And if you want to know what my third favourite gimmick is, gimmick is, because this is somewhat relevant, we've got, is, it's Generations 5, I think this was Black 2 and White 2, why have you been the original, no, it was Black and White, um, Black City or White Forest, I believe they were. Um, I liked the idea of that they were actually different. Too bad that Black City sucked to ass. Like seriously, Black City was just horrible. White Forest was good, but I, the, I, the basic idea was good, the execution not so much. Um, I knew that could be said for a lot of Generation 5 really. Anyway, um, so yeah. Uh, the plot did that. There was actually a good plot twist and something that I wasn't. And I was. And I'm, no spoilers here, but yeah, I wasn't expecting the surprise. A couple of surprises there. Um, well, post game was a lot of fun. Probably not the best post game. Again, hard gold and soul silver and gold and silver. Take that. Kate, take the cake for just best post game, but I think this probably has third best behind Diamond, Pill and Platinum, just because Diamond, Pill and Platinum and Emerald, you can just lump all them together, they basically had the battle area, a battle area, and they that was quite cool, um, so yeah, third best post game in my opinion, by X and Y has an honourable uh, honourable mention here. I did love it when Looker returned, and I did like that whole little story bit. It it's kind of within the same vein as that. I think they're probably just about as good as each other. So X and Y and uh, Sword and Shield both have the third best post game. Um, what else? Uh, I love a lot of the Pokemon designs. Um. Well, I don't love all of them. There are a couple I'm not too keen on. But they usually just like kind of suffer with like Gen 4 syndrome where they were based on their previous Pokemon and there's not really that much they could have done uh, to change up the design of the previous Pokemon. Um, and really none of the Pokemon really well, as bad as Generation 5's po most of Generation 5's, 5's Pokemon. And it, um, they did have a lot of good Pokemon. So I think it's got Generations 4, Generation 4's, uh, um, you know, consistency of average to above, slightly above average looking Pokemon. But with Generations 5, Generation 5's, Couple of Pokemon that are really good. Um, like Mimikyu is still my favourite Pokemon, but I love um, Pulte Geist and um, Sinisty. Sinister T. T. Sinisty. Um, it does have some some Pokemon that just really stand out that I do really like. Um, and again, some of the weakest Pokemon are the Pokemon that were based off a of previous Pokemon. Such as Corsola's Evolution and Galarian form. I'm not too crazy about them. Um, uh, well, uh, Mr. Mime's Evolution. I can't remember his name, but Mr. Mime's Evolution. Um, I'm not crazy about it. I don't dislike it. I think it's an improvement on Mr. Mime. But that's not really saying much, being as Mr. Mime was one of my least favourite Generation 1 Pokemon. Um... Who else? Uh, I like Wooly. Wooly was a good one. Uh, yeah, most of uh, yeah, like I, um, most of them are quite good, and yeah, I can't really complain. Um, if I were to give this game a rating, just from the single player itself, because I haven't really delved into multiplayer, because I haven't got an A competitive team together and the competitive scene hasn't really had a chance to exist yet really so can't really comment on that maybe a follow-up video if it's really that much in demand um, 
But I would definitely say that this is definitely a worthy um, entry into the Pokemon series, uh, despite the fact that not every Pokemon is in it. And I'm, and when I heard that, I wasn't angry. I was like, okay, I really don't care about if, if a lot of Pokemon are in it. Do we really need the unknown? Daddy Bears in this shit, I can't use Daddy Bear as an example anymore. Um, love Disc. Um, bearing in mind, I'm going off Pokemon I don't either, I don't think or don't know if they're in the game. Um, what other Pokemon don't I really you don't you don't you don't see often like Buffalant or you know there's just so many Pokemon that aren't really used or seen that I could just go away and also oh thank goodness so many of the legendaries are gone like the legendaries like I love I like a lot of legendaries but Landorus Fearing just re ruined any hope of. Oh, you being in even fun because it's just like it's intimidate is the most annoying thing. You have to bring something to get to take out Landos, otherwise, um, your team can't get any momentum. It just kills your momentum like that. Um, and it's fast and it hits ha decently hard without any boosting. It is just too much. Um. But yeah, I definitely like a lot of Pokemon have been kept in and added. I would definitely suggest picking this up if you're a Pokemon fan. I give this game an 8 out of 10. Not perfect by any means, but it is a lot of fun. And a lot of the Pokemon designs are really good and really memorable. And you don't really see any Pokemon designs that go into... The point where they're just god awful, and I want to see them go. Even like Gabodor's Gigantamax, I think it's called, uh, form is an improve is good. Like it's not like the best Pokemon design ever, but it's a more than an improvement on Gabodor, and I like what I really like what they did with that. Um, anyway, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.